Hi guys and welcome to the Gontu series. In the earlier tutorial, we talked about matrix parameters and saw a demo on how a RESTful web service accepts matrix parameters in the HTTP URL sent by the client. In this tutorial, we'll talk about how a RESTful web service accepts HTML form parameters in detail. Or in other words, when a user submits a HTML form to a RESTful web service, how the RESTful web service accepts those form parameters and map them to its function parameters. This is what I am going to do. I would write HTML form with two parameters, student's name and age, and send the request to the RESTful web service by submitting the form to the add student info function residing in the university RESTful web service. And then the RESTful web service would receive these parameters and map them to its function parameters and send the confirmation message that it has inserted the new student's record into the database. Let's start. This is the demo we saw in last tutorial about how a RESTful web service accepts multiple matrix parameters from a HTTP URL sent by the client using matrix param annotation. I would delete off this existing function and would create the new one for this demo. Just to save some time, I already have written the function. Let's go to it fully. Once the client submits the HTML form having form parameters, name and age, this function would extract those form parameters using form param annotation and map them to the strings name and age. The form param annotation binds the values of a HTTP form parameters to a resource method parameters. For this demo, I already have written the HTML form just to save some time. It contains a form with action URL pointing to the university RESTful web service function add student info having two variables name and age and a submit button. All right, let's run and test this. Open the HTML form using the browser. Fill in the values for the HTML form and send the request to the RESTful web service by submitting the HTML form. Yes, the RESTful web service has accepted the form parameters sent by the client. In the next tutorial, we'll see a demo on how to download a file, for example, PDF, image, text, or any other file type from a RESTful web service.